So I'm back off the field, was mowing a field that's about 18 acres. Um, PTO connection to the tractor started smoking and I thought that it needed grease. Um, but it had plenty of grease, but it was a lot of knocking noise, shaking noise. So I started investigating and we went down here, down here, this beam, there's a shaft in here. And it turns out that I believe is this clutch here piece, a free wheel thing, I don't know what you call it, is, is messed up. A lot of noise, knocking noise in here. So I'm going to take this apart. This is, I'm working on Chrome model. to model AM 283S. So, took this cover off. There's a bottom cover off. I'm gonna pull these bolts out, pull this out. Um, and I need to be able to, so it should remove from that shaft. There's a shaft in there. There's uh, right here, these two bolts that are holding a, a bearing, a, a bushing thing in place. So it should, this piece right here, should be should come off should be removable so I think this is the, the problem I'm having is this guy is bad it's huge knocking noise so yeah let's see what happens it's a nice machine um, made in Germany I believe but there's an issue so I took a couple pieces off this cover, got those bolts, there's little bushings in here so you have to take this thing off so you can take this plate off. But uh, why I think this piece is bad is because, look at this, that is not, not supposed to do that. So there's a double, double, um, uh, what do you call it, universal uh, joint. I believe double something joint, universal joint. There's a U joint, U joint here. Yep. So I had to take it all apart. So there is um, inside there, there's a bolt. Looks like this. All right. That's mounts, there's a hole underneath. Um, that goes into that shaft and it holds that UV joint intact to the shaft. So I took the bolt off from that hole. That shaft's still not coming out. Um, but I mean, I don't think I need to remove it right now. I think that these U, U, U joints are fine. Um, the problem is with this one here. Um, this is where the pin is, like little nipple thing for the grease. As you can see it's bye-bye. So I bet there has no grease in here, I think. I need to repack it with grease. I'm gonna take it apart from here. Um, I'm gonna take it apart from here and see what I can do if it's salvageable. If it is, I'm gonna pack it with grease and put a new uh, nipple thing on here just like this. On the end of that, I missed it, see that right there? I'm gonna put that, tack it in and see what happens. This kind of has slop to it we'll see what happens with that one this is where the problem is at i think it's inside the bearings inside here gears are bad look at this it's kind of hard to see but it's moving and uh it has like i don't know quarter of a turn without see it's like making noises i bet there is no oil in here uh, it's kind of my fault because I bought it and I didn't even look at uh, make sure there's oil in there Just been mowing what two seasons three seasons now and I think there's no oil in here and it it um, Gears inside have to be rebuilt. Anyways, I'm gonna have to take all this apart This is what happens when you Don't take care of the Situation over there Anyways, there is this Allen wrench bolt. Um, I took it off and there was oil coming out, but oil had a lot of metal shavings. So this shaft, the gears on that shaft must be bad. So I'm going to take it all apart. So I had to take that off. There's a bunch of bolts in here on top. 
take it off. So anyways, more work than I wanted to do. I'm gonna try to access it from here. If I can't get that shaft out, I'm gonna have to take all this apart, lift it up and uh, maybe take it to the shop, have them rebuild it. Okay. So. <clears throat> this piece was in here pretty much you have to destroy it to get rid of it um at least that's what i did destroyed it but you look how much metal shavings are in here okay have to get a new piece like this dust dust seal or something like that they call it anyways now i gotta remove that j um ring and then um there's a dust sealer on the back side here too i gotta remove it to also we're gonna be damaged i gotta get new parts and then hammer this thing out i think issues in here we'll see all right so i got that side out now i got this side out so pretty much same thing it's a there is a a dust cap pretty much butchered that out and then there is a J seal ring get that out and there's a bunch of washers get that out so that's from the front that's from the back this is what it looks like so we got two bearings of similar kind on both sides so now I'm gonna I believe I'm gonna try to hammer this side that way and they should go we'll see I'm gonna try it okay hammer from the back out this way i used the pipe and just hammered it pretty good all right so you don't destroy this edge check this out look at that that gear is broken off that gear is sheared oh goodness there's these gears are all screwed up so i need to get new um uh what do you call this uh, beer uh not the gear yeah gear um grooved or beveled gear i don't know i think the the name for this i think i'm gonna still keep the bearings bearings should be good i'm gonna clean them up make sure there's no sh uh, metal shavings there check this out there's so much metal in here i'm gonna make sure i don't have the other ones um that might look also bad i'm gonna check it out so this nipple was broken off so one idea i had is um, get yourself a star whatever it is called um, i can't focus my goodness this thing doesn't really work here we go get one of these and jam it in there okay that's what I did okay I jammed it in there and screw it off well there we go that's a good view yeah get yourself one of these um, screws I mean the um, screwdrivers the star or whatever they call them it worked good but yeah this is um everything's okay inside of here come on focus camera as you can see there's no grease whatsoever um all the parts are fine it's a little sloppy design it's wobbly but it's it's how it's supposed to be so i'm gonna clean it up i'm gonna grease it um get some new springs um that goes inside here what pushes it goes in not like that it sits like this uh, you know i get the idea and it pushes these pieces up to engage anyhow
I had to go to the store and get me one of these. Three eighths. I got the rest of them off. I just gotta get these two. And they're sitting there pretty darn tight. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll start with that one maybe. Um, yeah, so I gotta get that um, gear shaft off. So in order to do that, you gotta pull the darn casing housing off. These two countersunk um, screws or bolts are hard to get out. I already broke a couple of these because this is 3 8 drive. Um, and of course, 3 8 wrench, um, socket wrench will not do anything with that. So I used the impact driver that's half an inch and it didn't work. Um, I used the extension bar, whatever. Yeah, that's the hardest pieces to get out and probably they're rusted in there pretty good. So I might have to heat it, get a torch and heat this up as much as I can. And we'll see what happens. So torching did the trick. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's rusted in pretty good. So yeah, don't torch it too, too much. So there is a, for this one, there is a bolt, a nut underneath of it, right there, this nut right here, 15, 16 socket, get that thing off, and then this will come up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so as I go, I learn about this piece of equipment. So in order to take that out, you got to take the cap on the bottom off. It's a round cap. Probably have to take this thing off and the round cap. Um, and so there is a gear on the bottom. And that gear is, um, you got to remove that gear. There's like a J clip. You gotta remove washers and, and so on and so forth. Anyways, that gear needs to come off from underneath. And then the shaft, because shaft is attached to that gear through the gear with the um, J clip. So this is how far it goes with the, um, with just the, yep, yeah, it's now it's back in order. That's like about eighth of an inch movement there. But yeah. You cannot remove this without taking everything up underneath off and I might need to take other pieces off. We'll see. I'll have to lift this up and uh, or tilt it and work from the bottom. Okay. So underneath of here, there are, to take this shoe off, there is one, two recess, head recessed uh, type of hex socket bolts that one i was able to take it off this one is stuck pretty bad so i um you can tell it's gone so i'm gonna try to put a this guy in here and weld it and weld it and then um and try to unscrew it but it's like uh three quarters or five eighths long um bolt they need to take off in order to take the shoe off We'll see what happens. The idea worked. So this thing's coming off now. Here's what the socket looks like. Well, it's welded on there. Impact driver did the trick. This is what the shoe looks like. If you're curious, it fits on the end here. There's a screw on top. But yeah. This is what's the bottom cap looks like. There's an O-ring right here, but yeah, this is the bottom it came off. These were on the on the, on the on these for some reason. Not sure why. Have to look into the manual, make sure we need them. But uh, we need to probably 
order all the new o-rings these are the bolts it was hecka hard to get them i had to heat them up but anyway this is what the bottom looks like right here and these are the bolts bolt heads right here this now i gotta take this off and this would come down and then that should come off with that case i got the gearbox off there's a gasket right there gotta put a new gasket all right there is that bottom gear which is in good shape um so you know i'm gonna take the gearbox to the dealer order parts and have them put it together for me this is the gearbox so that big gear was in here okay there's a j clip here had to come off and then um hammer that back and that gearbox comes off but anyways um the damage is inside that shaft there's a gear on the shaft that needs to be fixed so i'll have them put it together for me so i just picked up my gear box here for the mower from the dealer they had trouble with um, this uh, shaft, that one vertical shaft that's coming down. Um, they had to install that, of course, because I don't have proper tools to do it. Um, but because um, they have to press this out. Anyways, they, um, they got new bearings and everything in here for me. But yeah, they, they had trouble with, with this it wasn't spinning um so they had to hammer that down so apparently um it had this kind of scenario wasn't really you know position it needs to be in perfect alignment right here so the bottom vertical one has to be perfectly aligned so this is the one i'm talking about this vertical it has to be perfectly aligned in there so they installed this they installed um the horizontal shaft um they gave me a bunch of parts so this right here this is just the parts here uh, 1400 bucks plus so that the vertical one is about 700 plus this is about 400 dollar plus um and so you can see inside there it's hard to see but there it goes all those teeth are really nice now so i gotta put a bearing in here which is this guy okay put that in there i had to get some u joints uh um replace that on the p shaft uh, pto shaft um i had to get some bolts this is the big um o-ring i'm missing an o-ring i'm missing a gasket i'm missing a get uh, maybe this is it i bet this is it this is the other big one so all this this is the um, dust plugs that I need on both sides um, this you don't have to get this they said on a previous job they busted this out when they were removing the vertical shaft they had to but they busted this keyway so they got an order another one but I don't need it if anybody needs a keyway I have it let me know I got greaser uh, nipples and some some of these bolts I, um, I reordered because they, um, they broke or got ruined. Um, the hex got ruined. Anyway, so just for parts here, $1,400 plus, dollars plus the labor on this guy to put this in. I'm not sure what that's going to be. But um, I'm sure they struggled with it. Hopefully not too much uh, hourly rate, but um, we'll see. They'll um so yeah now i have to put everything together so i used the hammer and um these are the clip j clip whatever they call it but these washers so there is a groove over there these washers need to be below the groove. So I used a hammer and kind of went in perimeter, got the bearing inside flush with this. Um, I used kind of similar, I used kind of 
this piece here I just placed it on here and hammered it um, and gently and then what I used uh, what I used is this uh, uh, this deal here and I kind of went around around and around and around and around till I got that bearing fully set in all right so there is a uh, plenty of uh, gap for this J clip to come in all right guys kind of important I got the part back from the dealer all put together so this collar is removable pulls out um, in order to remove the old shaft you have to attach there's a thread in here a slide hammer and 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 hit hammer it this way and the shaft would come out this way anyways my old shaft would not come out they as you can see here they heated this up really good and still would not come out so they had to put new so i have to torch the old bearings out and pretty much cut everything out to get the shaft the old shaft out so they put new bearings for me inside this shaft there's two new bearings and then the uh, um the shims and the washers all that stuff had to be put back is new because they had to cut everything out but anyways yeah so this comes out and down there you can see there is a the little clamp ring and then washers so anyways it's gonna go back on there now I got a little bit of uh, oil on this o-ring it's not an o-ring anymore whatever that shape is so putting it together here's my progress I got the housing on Painted the bolts, those are the new hex bolts, countersunk, with countersunk heads. And then um, new washer, I mean new nut there, new uh, bolt and nut there. Painted that, um, got that assembled. I got the cap on here and then the shoe. And now I got this thing fixed repack this guy got the grease in there got new springs there's three springs i replaced them the old ones look like this i got some new springs and these are probably worn out so i need, got new springs got grease in here regrease these i got that bolt underneath for that pit shaft over there i got put that bolt back on got these greased so I'm ready to put this on onto here, attach it here. So that's next. So I got everything assembled, everything put together, um, greased. I'm checking the gear oil, make sure everything's good. So make sure there's gear oil in here. So this is where to drain, this is to fill. So take this off, level it. If it's level, you take this off and oil is supposed to be right at that line. It, it uh, would kind of almost spill out. That means it's good, it's filled to a proper level. Got that done. Um, put a new grease nipple here. It's a 45. But it was uh, hitting one of these, uh, uh, one of the edges of the shaft. So I had to take a grinder and grind a little bit of the shaft, just a tiny bit, so it would have a gap behind it. And then just paint it. So everything's greased there. Um, replace the PTO, not PTO, but the uh, U joint on this guy. to twist when it's up in out position but anyways um replace the huge on this guy it was a bad one and uh, what else um oh yeah i gotta check this nipple make sure it's not hitting the shaft while it's spinning because sometimes 
that nipple is a new nipple, it's a 45. I want to make sure it's not hitting that shaft. But anyway, here's your gear oil fill opening. So to take this off, there's a copper washer, don't lose that. Or a brass washer, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this has got to be an upright position. My, my mower, this is how far it goes. Um, so the cylinder is now original. That's why it's now really in 90 degree. But anyway, that's why I have this strap to kind of pull it back as much as I can. But anyway, it works. So anyway, this is supposed to be straight 90 degree. And then you put um, gear oil through here. And then um, as, as it the, the oil drains out, that means it's full. Um, it has to be up to this level here and down again and then plug it in um, This is what I used to put a gear oil. So this is what I, the gear oil I used 8090 I had one of these bottles From it's 8090 from John Deere, but that's okay. I have this bottle and that's what I use They put some in this bottle and then squeeze it in there or get yourself one of these guys with a smaller opening I don't have one, so I had to improvise. So I got oil in there. Now I got to check, make sure oil's in here. This guy here, this is all rebuild. Same thing here. Um, fill this up, up to this level. I believe it's up to this level. I got to look. This is the drain hole. This is where the, the oil should be. So this is probably the fill in. This is probably the fill opening and the oil needs to be up to that point. I need to look this up. So don't quote me on this guy. Um, I know before I unscrewed this one and the oil is kind of sipping out through here. So the level is like up here. I don't know what this is for. Can you see anything in it? Through it. I'm going to have to take it off. Take a look. Maybe the oil's up to this level. Then how do you fill it? I guess you fill it through here. Anyways, I'll I'll um, do my homework.